Elise Perry is one of the most talented and versatile women in world sport. In 2007, aged 16, she became the youngest person ever to represent Australia at cricket. That same year, she also made her debut for the national football team. thought about this and, and sort of going back to when I first started playing both sports, it was pretty much at exactly the same time when I was six years old and, and ever since then I've played um, you know, cricket and soccer and, and they're such huge parts of my life. So, uh, yeah, there's, I've had some wonderful experiences in both sports and met some wonderful people and, you know, had the opportunity to do some wonderful things. So um, it's really hard to sort of, I suppose, you know, single one out in terms of being the most important to me. Um, but in general, I think just sport as a whole is what I really enjoy doing. The youngest Australian test cricketer, male or female, Elise is a two-time World T20 winner, whilst in 2013 she took the crucial wickets that helped Australia's Southern Stars win the Women's Cricket World Cup final. Two years earlier, aged 20, she scored one of the goals of the tournament as Australia's soccer team, the Matildas, reached the quarter-finals of the FIFA Women's World Cup for the first time. In the process, Perry became the first person to represent Australia in both cricket and football World Cup finals. She's just a performer, I think, um, is the best way to describe it. I think, um, you know, in the big games you can always rely on Elise to, to pull out a performance for you. And um, obviously it's great to have a team to be able to do that, but to know that some, there's somebody in your team that can stand up um, and make that performance is pretty special. 23-year-old Elise plays her cricket alongside childhood friend Alyssa Healy, niece of Aussie great Ian, at both club and international level. The pair signed for stateside the New South Wales Breakers in 2007 and have won the National Cricket League every season since. I've been lucky enough to, to play a lot of sport with her growing up. You know, to see her succeed the way that she has is pretty special, but uh, it's pretty awesome to be able to um, switch on the telly and see Elise playing for Australia or to run out together and playing cricket for Australia is pretty awesome. So, um, yeah, it's definitely, it brings a bit of a smile to your face. A right arm fast medium bowler, Perry is a cricketing all-rounder who's used to making significant contributions with both bat and ball. Whilst her three wickets for 19 runs set up Australia's World Cup final triumph last year, she also hit an unbeaten 25 off 22 balls, despite carrying an ankle injury. To this day, Elisa's father remains her batting coach, and she's often found putting in extra hours at both training grounds. Look, I'm really fortunate to have some wonderful support from both cricket and soccer, and um, you know, people within within those organisations, which really helped me balance, I think, you know, the two sports that I play in terms of my training loads and competitions and, and those kind of things. And, you know, we often sit down with, with the two sports and sort of map out what's best. And, you know, I think I really have the easiest job in terms of just training and playing. On the football pitch, Perry is something of an all-rounder as well. A defender by trade, she's also a set-piece specialist whilst her ability on the ball makes her a real attacking threat. She plays for Sydney FC Women, where she's coached by Alan Starchic. Obviously, the demands on her life are incredible, you know, and when you include a university degree on top of that and all the other things she does, uh, it's just amazing. She was the kind of person who will still pick up the markers at the end of the session and, you know, will come and help out with little things and, you know, has never let the ego get in the way of of the person she is and, and she certainly contributes, as I said, in such a positive way to the team. In 2012, Elisa's then football team, Canberra United, gave her an ultimatum to either quit cricket or leave the club. It was front page news in Australia. For Elise, there was little doubt. She wasted no time in joining hometown side Sydney FC, who were delighted to acquire her services. In her first season at the club, Sydney won the W League Championship. Today, her coaches in both sports accept the need for compromise. We really need to all work together to make this work and, uh, and make sure that you know, we're not wearing her out and that she can't play either. I think the, the fact of the matter is that we, that we all want her on our team and we've just got to make sure that, that she's good for all of us when we need her. 
Inevitably, over the years there have been clashes between Elisa's commitments at both club and international level. The T20 Cricket World Cup in 2010 fell at the same time as the Asian Cup for soccer, while last year's W League semi-final was contested on the same day as the domestic T20 title decider. In such cases, the coaches work together for a solution, while her manager, Andrew Fraser, is often at the heart of the discussions. I'm probably trying to fit in all of her uh, responsibilities and commitments into her schedule. Uh, it's a daily chore. I mean, but working, uh, working with the, the cricket bodies and the football bodies and her sponsors, trying to fit things in. But as I said, they are so hospitable. They're very, very sympathetic to her schedules. That is the, the bit most difficult thing with, with Elise, but it's the only difficult thing of Elise because she's an absolute pleasure to represent. <laughs> However, football and cricket aren't the only things on Elisa's plate. The 23-year-old is midway through a degree in economics at Sydney University, whilst she's also developing a career in television and radio presenting. Elise credits her parents with her active lifestyle and her remarkable work ethic stems from her sporting background. You know, I really strongly believe that you're never as good as you can be um, in sport and that's purely because I think there's always something to work on and so it's nice to be able to do that in, in two sports with different people and you know, work with different coaches and teammates to, you know, to try and achieve the things that you want to. Last year, Pro Sport magazine ranked Elise as the 36th most marketable athlete in the world, male or female. She was the only Australian sports person inside the top 50. The girl from Sydney's North Shore already has over half a dozen corporate partners, but Elise is careful not to let those commitments interfere with her degree or her training schedule. I think she's a great role model to girls out there of just playing sport in general. It doesn't matter the fact that it's soccer and cricket, it could be you know, football and other sports. I think the fact that you know, if, she, if she loves something that much that she wants to play, then that's the good message out to all the young girls that, you know, get get out and, and play sport and enjoy yourself and, and she's a good role model for that. You know there's so many barriers that women's football has to break through and women's sport in general you know from being accepted by men to being accepted by women to being accepted by the media and, and she's broken through all those barriers already. For the past four years Elise has pursued a media career alongside her sporting commitments. Having presented her own segment on a national radio show, she's more recently moved into TV commentary, providing analysis on men's A-League football and national cricket fixtures. Uh, her life after sport, well, I think, will be in the, in the media. Uh, she's already signed up now with Fox Sports and it's already started, so it's fantastic. I think once her playing days are over, um, she'll become a, a great sports uh, media commentator, personality, because she has so much knowledge about the sports as well. 2014 promises to be a busy year for Elise. In cricket, she'll be a key member of the Australia side hoping to defend their title at the World 2020 Finals. The team will also join their male counterparts in trying to regain the ashes from England. This year's series will use the new format, combining tests with one-day fixtures, as women's cricket looks to usher in a new era of popularity. Yeah, for me, the best way to make a difference is to hope, hopefully get more young girls and, and people interested and involved in, in sport and particularly in cricket and soccer and, and hopefully continue to grow those sports and, and provide more and more opportunities to, to people because I know you know the wonderful things that I've gained out of being involved and um, it'd be really nice to continue to do that for other people. The 2014 football calendar is no less exciting. Having just competed in the World Club Championship in Japan, Elise will return to Asia later in the year for the Asian Cup, where Australia are the reigning champions. Women's sport in the country is currently in good health, and Elise Perry is at the heart of that resurgence. Oh look, she's just a wonderful human being, on and off the field, she's a delight to work with. Um, her, her personable nature, it, it just endears it to everybody. She's just a, uh, a wonderful sports person and a wonderful person, full stop. Perry's coaches accept that there may come a time when her body can no longer handle the pressure of playing both sports, but are hopeful that moment won't come for a few years yet. 
Elise herself admits that perhaps playing two sports may have limited her ability to reach her full potential in one, but it's clear that she's always followed her heart in making that trade-off. I'd love to, to always um, be really enjoying what I'm doing and um, whether that's playing both sports, uh, one sport or doing something completely different, I'm not really sure. I, I think I've never really spent too much time um, thinking or, or worrying about the future. I've kind of just gone along for the ride and never imagined being in the position that I am at the moment. And um, Yeah, for how long that lasts, I'm not really sure, but um, yeah, I know I'm going to enjoy every moment of it.